Hello everybody, this is Kevin, and I'm going to be bringing you a assembly tutorial. So this is going to be very basic, it's just going to output Hello World just to start off, but um, I'm going to be making a few assumptions during this tutorial, and those are that you are developing on a Windows or a DOS platform, that you have knowledge of a higher level language such as C or C++ because I will be referring to some of the instructions to C++ so that you can understand them better and that you are using the NASM assembler because that's what I'm using so this code will not compile using or not assemble using a different assembler such as FASM or MASM only NASM well, I don't know if there's any more that have this syntax, but I know that those, the bigger ones don't. Alright, so to start off, we type in section dot text. And the dot text section is where all your code is going to go. And there's, there's another section that we're going to be storing um, data variables in. So I'll get to that when we get there. Org tells the assembler where to start the program where to set aside space so we're gonna start at 0x100 which is the normal for a 16-bit DOS application so the next instruction that I'm going to be teaching you guys about is move and basically what this does is it moves a value into a register registers are basically ways to store information and and use the instructions. So the ones that we're going to be using are AX and DX. AX is an accumulative register and it will hold the value when we start outputting. It'll hold the value for the function code whereas DX is a segment register and it will hold the actual data of what we're outputting. So what we're going to want to do is move OX9 into AH. We'll do th I'll we'll show you why we did this in a second. Don't worry about that. Okay. So next, we're going to want to move into DX. We're going to want to move hello. Now, this hello variable we have not made yet. We will make this later after we get the program finished. So this is just a variable so don't worry about that we're just moving the v hello variable into DX that's all we're doing here alright then we're gonna wanna call an operating system interrupt OX21 is the one of the main interrupts that you will be using this does not mean integer it means interrupt in assembly when you call um, interrupt 21 it will look for the function code in AH. This is why we moved 9 in there. Function code 9 is to output a string. So when I call this, it's going to look in AH, it's going to see 9, it's going to go, oh, I'm outputting a string. So this, and then function code 9, it looks in DX for what it's outputting. And since we moved hello, it's going to output whatever is in the variable hello. So now. Oh, and I said that we were using AX like and DX. This is DX. But you see AH here, and that might not make sense to anyone. AX, all variables, I mean, all registers are 16-bit. Well, these are 16-bit. And they're split up into two 8-bit sections, the upper half and the lower half. AH is the high, the high 8-bits, the upper 8-bits, and AL or DL and DH are the lower 8 bits so it's it's split so now we're going to want to move 4 OX 4 C into AH because we're going to be calling another interrupt and this time we want to use function code 4 C and then we're going to move 0x00 which is 0 in hex into AL and you'll see why we did this and then we're gonna call OX21 again so now it's called this it's gonna go oh I'm looking AH for the function code it's gonna see 4C 
4C looks in AL for the return code. 4C is the return function. So, and since 0 is in AL, it'll return 0. This is exactly the same. This code right here is exactly the same as return 0 in C++ or C. That's exactly what this does. It just returns 0. It tells the program to quit. Alright, so now we're done with the actual coding. So, now we move on to the next section, which is the dot .data section. This is where you're going to store all your variables and everything that the program is going to be using, mostly. So, we named our variable up here hello. So we're going to put hello, and then a colon. So this is a label hello. We're going to put db, which means define byte. So it's going to define the bytes. Hello world. We'll put a comma, put 13, 10, and then a peso sign. All right. So this is obvious. This is just what the string is. 13 is a carriage return, and 10 is a new line. So this, all this does right here is drop it down to a new line. Effectively, the uh, end L or forward slash N in a higher level language. And this um, is what you need to add because all strings that are using that are outputting through OX9 need to um, end with this to let it know, to let the program know it's a string. Alright, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to open up command prompt. I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to type nasm dash o hello world.com hello world.asm and then just type in hello world to run it and you will see it says hello world alright so that's just a very basic assembly tutorial if you have any questions at all I will make a more detailed assembly tutorial and I will also keep going with the series because assembly is really fun it's it's a language that you have to give it all or nothing if you're not going to try to learn it you're not going to be able to just get by with memorizing stuff you're going to have to actually understand what's going on to be able to write it yourself and not just copy code off the internet alright so i hope everyone liked this tutorial and see you next time